Well, that's the view over towards Sanford. And the barn down there I've painted before. So there's a half hour study I did from that spot. And here's a little oil I did from a similar spot. It's looking a bit more to the right. I like this place. But the light's very top heavy and hazy today. So we'll have to see. We'll look for something. I like this bit of path. Edison and I've walked from my house and we're overlooking Sanford and a place I've done a couple of paintings before so hopefully I've chosen a slightly unusual subject this old tree stump and uh, I'm gonna try and depict that with the trees behind it's gonna be quite small scale but um, let's just see how it goes So we start by drawing, plotting a few points of reference with a unit of measurement taken from the stump and uh, begin making a few tentative marks just to get proportions correct. Then you can see the time lapse of laying it in, roughly blocking in a few areas of shade. And then I start drawing in a little bit in paint, drawing in the darks first. Taking my time with the drawing, looking all the time, the light's starting to move across. And although it started off quite hazy, um, the light actually got better as the afternoon wore on, uh, which was quite exciting because it began to break across and make everything a bit more interesting. More of a challenge when you're doing a kind of still life like this. But um, it, I think it made for an interesting afternoon, quite enjoyable. There's some real coolish colours in that. In there. In here. Cool, the birds are really going for it today. They're making all kinds of noises behind me. You hear crows in there, yeah. There's peckers and all sorts of stuff pecking around that side. seen much wildlife yet. I haven't seen a soul. Which is lovely. But it's always quiet over here. I think I've only ever seen one person over here. And I've come. It's just somewhere that people don't go. Do you know, I think I'm actually getting a sun burnt by the sun. And it's what, February the 27th today. Isn't that amazing? They said on the news last night that it was possibly harder than it's been in France and Spain at the moment. So the light's changing quite a bit now and it's defining the stump a bit better and I'm trying to get it blocked in a bit more and we'll take it as it comes. But uh, starting to take shape and get a bit more interesting. <coughs> So I'm concentrating on the block in here and trying to 
cover up as much of the orange and painting as possible while still letting a bit of it glow through some of the layers. Um, carrying on with the time lapse. Um, just getting the basics and then trying to draw into it with lights and darks to define some of the areas. Um, working on the stump primarily because that's the main area of interest and although the light keeps changing and redefining bits um, it's really what I want to try and cover the background is less important and it's not going to be that detailed so I'm just working on little bits here and there of the stump and the light keeps appearing underneath it and through it where there are holes and it's quite a challenge um, but yeah it's good interesting subject careful not to dip into your tea. Done that before, as you can imagine. Still, gotta have tea. Once you start looking at a subject like this, you realise how many colours are in it. But um, it'll probably make a more interesting, larger study. But we're working with what we've got. So I'm continuing to work over different areas of the painting, um, partly as relief from working on one area all the time, but also to bring the whole up to as much of a consistent uh, appearance as possible under before the light changes too much in a different area. Um, so obviously keep returning to that foreground and building up different areas of paint because sometimes the acrylic can be a little translucent or transparent um, if it's a bit thinly applied or just maybe some of the colours are um, less dense than others, less saturated. Mm -hmm. 